Hello, hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. How is everyone doing today? Sorry about the late start. I was supposed to be in at three. I do apologize for the tardiness. Hi, Bobby. 10,001, how are you doing today? Happy Sunday. Thank you for coming in. Please invite your followers. Hello, Sarah J. Slim. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining. My name is Tiffany, and this is We Love Food. Hi, how are you doing today? Um, your allergy-free cooking show. And for the entire month of April, I've been baking, and so today is the last Sunday, and there is no exception. So today, I went ahead and created a gluten-free um, cake. That's good to hear, sir. So I, w I went ahead and created a gluten-free. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Welcome, welcome, thank you for coming in. And so I just wanted to show you real quickly um, how I went ahead and did that. It's made with corn flour. Instead of um, using a gluten-free all-purpose flour, I decided to use corn flour, which was a little different. Um, and so, I just wanted you to share that with you guys this Sunday. So bear with me one second. I'm going to move the camera to the stand so that you can see what I'm doing and it won't be in my hands any longer, okay? So bear with me. It might get a little, it might jerk a little bit. All right. All right, guys. So as you can see, um, let me get this stuff over here. So we're gonna start really quickly. Like I said, it's gluten-free, uh, but it's a cake nevertheless. So with most cakes, you start with butter and sugar. So I have um, turbinado sugar, which is brown sugar. I have a quarter cup of that. And I have a half a cup of um, icing sugar or uh, powdered sugar. So as you can see, confections, powdered sugar. All right. And I have that in this bowl. I'm gonna add the butter, I melted it. And to make it a little different, I added um, cream cheese instead of just butter. And that is butter, not margarine. Um, there's a big difference. And I used unsalted butter. So I melted it in the microwave for just a few minutes. I'm just gonna mix the butter and the cream cheese together. And I just used regular cream cheese, nothing fancy, not the, um, uh, what is it called? Not the whipped kind, it's just a block of cream cheese. And so to soften it, I put it in a microwave with the butter just to melt it. Hi, Deadlock, thank you for coming in, thanks for joining. So I'm gonna put the butter with the sugar, and then we're gonna use the mixer just to mix it all together, okay? Like with most cakes, like I stated, you start with butter and sugar. So, I'm just gonna mix these on low. Um, because the sugar is coarse, it's not gonna be smooth right away. And then you have cream cheese. But it's gonna give you a nice, fatty, awesome taste. I remember as a kid in Jamaica, I used to have to do this for Christmas, but instead I didn't have a mixer, I had to use my hand. And that was pounds and pounds of butter. So I feel grateful to have a mixer today. Thank you for joining, guys. Hi, Anike. How are you doing today? Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Welcome. It's your first day on Periscope. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing, sis. Okay. So, we're not done with the mixer yet, so I'm just going to sit it on this stand right here. But, basically, I've mixed the butter and the sugar, and it's kind of creamed, 
so you can see it it's really creamy and remember I use I didn't do all butter I did some cream cheese so that makes it a little different I'm gonna go ahead and crack the egg into this mixture normally let me use this bowl so I'm gonna use the bowl that the butter came out of and just add them one at a time So we're just going to mix again. And like I stated, it comes out really creamy. I'm just going to sit this right here on the corner. I'm trying not to make a, a mess but I'm adding one egg at a time and as the egg goes in you can see how creamy it gets I just love I, I never thought I would enjoy baking because it was never my thing but I've been doing it for a month now <laughs> and I'm starting to really enjoy the process you know the process is is enjoyable all right so I'm gonna mix this egg in cheese a quarter cup of butter two eggs the brown sugar the powdered sugar we're going to add a little bit of well the salt is already we have in this bowl we have the salt the baking powder and the corn flour corn flour is really really fine excuse me corn flour is really really fine i'm not sure if you can see it but it's very very fine flour and so um you have to mix it the when you put the salt and the baking powder you just have to mix it in really well thank you for coming in Steve it's your first day on Periscope thank you for joining how are you today okay so I'm gonna add to the liquid mixture I'm gonna add the vanilla and the cinnamon and the the milk so I have a half a cup of milk here and so I'm just gonna pour that in here Sit this to the side. And oh my salt. This is my Himalayan salt. I just love this salt. So good. It's pink Himalayan salt. And it's not too salty. And it always works well with my baked um goods. So I'm gonna measure out the one tablespoon of vanilla. And the uh, quarter tablespoon, excuse me, one teaspoon of vanilla. And a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Now this recipe I saw online and I decided to tweak it to make it mine by adding the cream cheese because that's what I like to do. <laughs> but, um, it's going to be great. All right. So the vanilla, the cinnamon, the milk has been added. And we're going to give it another mix and gradually add the flour. And you're probably looking like, oh, it's so watery for this little bit amount of flour. But corn flour is one of those flours that absorbs everything. It's it's like a corn tortilla. You know, it can absorb everything. Thank you for coming in. K-Hop Too Smooth. That's a cute little name. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining. 
All right, so I'm just mixing the salt, the um, corn flour, and the uh, baking powder. And then I'm gonna gradually add it to the, the wet mixture. All right, so I'm just gonna do two scoops at a time and then we're gonna mix it out. And after this, we're gonna just pour it into uh, um, our container. And by the way, the oven is set at 350. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for coming in, guys. I appreciate you coming on cards. Let me go ahead and reset while I do this. Um, my name is Tiffany and this is We Love Food, your allergy-free cooking show. And for the month of April, um, I was instructed to bake. And so normally baking is not my thing, but I think it was a challenge that the Lord would have me to do. And so I've been baking on all the episodes and I decided to make a gluten-free butter cake just because I saw the recipe and it was unusual. And I was like, hmm, corn flour. Let's see what we can do with this. And so I tweaked the recipe. I added my own ingredients. And it is going to be great. So, um, if you're interested in... Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, by the way, this is the Sister Tribe Net, um, TV. And if you're interested in joining us, please come to Facebook. Our Facebook, uh, the name of our group is World Changer Sister Tribe. And or you can join by going to bit.ly slash join sister tribe now um, There are a group of women As well as we do have a brother tribe So there are a group of women that come together um, underneath the leadership of dr. Fumi princess Hancock she is our vision midwife and She was kind and gracious enough to allow me to establish a allergy free cooking show on her network and I just truly feel blessed to be under her tutelage, under her anointing, and um, under her leadership. It has been such a blessing and, um, and just awesome because I get to do what I love, which is cook, and on her network. So I thank you so much, Dr. Princess Fumi. You've been such an awesome um, example to me. Um, thank you for coming in, guys. Um, today we are making a gluten-free butter cake and we're using corn flour so this is different and I want you to join me as I create it and if you're interested in a recipe please join us at World Changer Sister Tribe on uh, Facebook or bit.ly slash join your sister tribe now um, to join our group okay and by the way we are having a retreat in August late August the 24th through the 27th in Tennessee if you're interested in coming to our retreat or seeing what that's about please go to our um, the website manifestyourmillions.com I'm not sure what you mean I'm not sure what you're asking can you ask that a different way please thank you for the hearts thank you for coming in guys Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the heart. 
I set the oven at 350 and we're gonna bake this for I think I'm gonna put it in my muffin pan um, very well blended I'm gonna put it in my muffin pan for um, about 30 to 40 minutes uh, just stick a toothpick or a um, butter knife in the center to see if it jiggles now the the finished one jiggled but it was done so like I said it corn flour absorbs really well and it because it's such a fine flour it cooks really quickly so you have to watch it and as soon as it gets golden brown go ahead and check it and you may be able to take it out okay all right so let me get my pen out And I like to line my pans with um, wax paper. <laughs> I like to line them with wax paper. It makes it a lot easier to clean up. And so I'm not going to line the sides with wax paper, just the bottom. And I think I may do my own pan. Loaf pan is a lot easier to line. I think I have enough for both. So I just have some regular wax paper and I usually put it on the bottom. My sister taught me this trick. And you kind of just, you know, make it the size and then you cut it, cut it around. <laughs> Where are my scissors? Okay. Just cut it to the, the, um, You cut it to the size of the bottom of the pan so that you can get that coverage you're looking for at the bottom and then you can butter the sides, okay? Or spray it with some um, olive oil or canola, whatever you use. But I like to put this on the bottom and then bake that way. It's a lot easier for me. I'm not sure about anybody else, but this works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour Give me one second. I was looking for my other spatula. All right, here we go. So, like I stated, the oven's on 350. We've already added all the ingredients. It's a little thicker than normal cakes, but it's gonna and it's gonna come out almost looking like um, cornbread. So I'm just gonna spoon that in, and when it's baking, it smells absolutely divine. And I decided to use my round pan instead of my loaf pan. I used the loaf last week to make um, banana, banana bread. So we're gonna try something else this week. All right. And it's kind of uneven. It looks a little weird. And like I said, it's thicker than usual. It's not like a normal cake, it's thick. And so we're gonna stick this in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna set my timer, 30 minutes. And the finished product, I did it in a square container the first time. And so the finished product looks very much like cornbread, <laughs> but it's sweet. And give me one second. Let me go ahead and 
It's very, very soft. not like cornbread. Cornbread is a little drier than this. It's really, really soft. And I can't wait to try it. All right. So this is what the cake looks like. It looks like bars, almost like lemon um, lemon bars. It's really, really soft, really, really moist, and I'm gonna enjoy a piece, okay? All right, well, thank you for joining. Thank you for coming in. My name is Tiffany, and this is We Love Food, your allergy-free cooking show. I hope you enjoyed or was were inspired today to create something allergy free this is our gluten-free butter cake that's made with corn flour yes it looks like cornbread but it's not it's cake butter cake to be exact and by the way um, almond milk is in this but if you are allergic to nuts you can always use oat milk hemp milk or any other milk like soy that um, will not conflict with your allergies thank you for coming in guys you're gonna have to catch a replay because um, this is the end. I went ahead and created this cake and I can't wait to try it. It's going to be divine. Thank you, thank you so much. And see you next week at 3 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Excuse me, 2 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern for We Love Food, your allergy-free cooking show. By the way, the month of May is um, National Allergy Month. And so, I think I may start by making some ice cream, something that people with allergies, especially dairy allergies, don't get to enjoy too often um, without great expense. <laughs> so thank you, thank you so much for coming in and see you next week. Um, be blessed everyone. Happy Sunday.